across the board. I mean, these things are huge. So the 2920 is just the next generation of those switches. It's available in four SKUs, right? 224 port, 248 port, with and without PoE. That's the big difference. But one of the huge advantages to these things is, is they're now, if you look in the back, they've got a replaceable power supply. So instead of having to replace the entire switch, or if you need to upgrade to, to higher capacity PoE, you can replace the power supply. They do stacking, and in their class, they've got two to four times better stacking than our competitors. And it's simple to configure. You plug it in, turn them on, and it's done. So the, you know, the configuration of stacking here is, is amazing. So what it does is gives you the flexibility to start at a, at a minimum where you need it and add to that as you go along, right? So if you need 10 gig, there's two slots in the back for, for 10 gig ports. If you don't need that, you don't pay for it up front, so you're not, you don't have that extra cost. If you need uh, PoE, you know, you, have, you do that. But if you need to expand port capacity, you add another switch, you add stacking, you need to add 10 gig, you can do that. The other thing that, you know, I mentioned the stacking, the fact that it's a 20 gig pipe. One of the huge advantages there is because that's a huge pipe, it means that if you've got a stack of four of these, you might just need two 10 gig uplinks for the whole stack, right? I can plug one into one switch and one into another switch. I've got redundancy, but because that backplane flink is so fast, we can actually transfer data across that, that stacking link and get it out onto our uplink. If you look at the 2960, it's an incredibly slow stacking solution. It's so slow that you'd never want uplink traffic going across it, which means that in a stack of four, now you need to have four uplinks. So not only is this you know, a good solution at the edge, but it also saves you ports and cables to get up to your distribution or your core, right? So that's one of the, the really neat things there. And then inside this box, we've got a lot of innovation. We, we feel that um, energy efficiency is incredibly important. And we've built that from the ground up to make this box efficient. It starts in our ASIC. We have, there's a single ASIC in each one of these boxes. It's the same ASIC in each one of these boxes. So we've taken all of the chips that what you'd find in, in many legacy switches and, and combine it into one, one switch or one chip. So what that means is, you know, less chips, less power consumption. But on top of that, inside that ASIC, when, when a section of that ASIC is not in use, you can, we actually shut it down, we power it down so that it's not consuming power at all. And then right before a packet comes to that block, we power it up, process the packet, and power it down again. So we're, we're, we're saving energy in that way. These boxes also support um, I, uh, IEEE triple e, uh, energy efficient Ethernet. So they can actually you know, save consumption on the PHY itself, on the link itself. Uh, the power supply is uh, silver rated efficiency. So it's, it's a very efficient power supply. So we've done a lot of things to really you know, incre increase the, the efficiency of the, of the switch. So that's, I mean, just in, in just a couple minutes, that's, that's uh, that's the 2920. You guys have any questions about that at this point? All right. Well, I think I'm going to turn it over to Guy to talk to you about the other new exciting uh, announcement we've got with BYOD. Great. Thank Thanks, you. Eric. Yeah, so the BYOD solution can utilize, Rob had already mentioned, and I think he's going to cover this.